Okay, the voltage across a resistor in an electrical circuit is Z is equal to IR, where I is equal to 4.85 minus 0.01 T squared. It's the current through the resistor in amperes. R is equal to 15.0 plus 0.11 T is the resistance in ohms, and T is time in seconds. Okay, so write an equation for V in terms of T, write voltage in, ter in terms of time, determine V prime of T and interpret its meaning for the situation. Uh, determine the rate of change of voltage after two seconds. Part D is what is the rate of change of current after two seconds. Part E is what is the rate of change of resistance after two seconds. Okay, so let's take a look at the equation for voltage in terms of time. Okay, so we can understand that velocity, uh, voltage is a function of um, current and resistance, right? Current is equal to this, resistance is equal to this. So if we do a substitution, voltage is equal to current, um, which is 4.85 minus 0.01 T squared times resistance, because voltage is equal to current times resistance, and resistance is 15.0 plus 0.11 T. Okay, so that, that's the function. Because uh, voltage is a function of time now. So we'll write this as V of T, right? This is voltage after T seconds. Okay, so now determine V prime of T. Okay, now V prime of T is going to be the instantaneous rate of change of voltage with respect to time, right? And in this case, um, if we wanted to uh, determine the derivative here, right? So you can write this as dV over dT, right? The rate of change of voltage with respect to the rate of change of time. You're basically using the product rule, so I'm going to do d of dt uh, of 4.85 minus 0.01 t squared, okay, uh, plus, or times, 15.0 plus 0.11 t, right, plus the derivative of the right factor, so 15.0 plus 0.11 t, times 4.85 minus 0.01 t squared, okay? So now what we want to do here is I'm just going to simplify this out. So V prime of t here, derivative 4.85 minus 0.01 t squared, you should get negative 0.02 t, I'm just utilizing power rule, times 15.0 plus 0.11 t, plus the derivative of this portion, 0 0.11 times, um, you know what, I'm going to move this guy out here, kind of run out of space, right, but plus 0 0.11 times 4.85 minus 0 0.01 t squared. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to expand this guy out. So the first derivative of v prime of t here is basically 15 times 0 0.02. Okay, so that's going to be negative 0 0.3t uh, minus uh, 0.02 times uh, 0.11. Okay, so you get negative 0 0.0022t uh, plus 0.11 times 4.85, 0 0.5335 minus 0. 0.11 times 0 0.01, which is 0 0.0011 t squared, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. And what you want to do now is you just want to kind of collect the like terms. So you can see that your V prime of t here is, if I combine the like terms, um, you can add this, uh, you can subtract these two together, right? And you have the negative 0 0.0011 t squared. Subtracting these two, minus 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.022 t plus 0 0.5335. Okay, hopefully um, didn't make a mistake over there. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the instantaneous rate of change of voltage at a certain instant of time. And what we want to do now is we want to determine the rate of change of voltage after two seconds. Right, so the rate of change of voltage after two seconds is V prime of two which is basically equal to negative 0 0.0011. So we're plugging this into our instantaneous rate of change function. OK, 
Okay, and if we crunch this up, this is going to give us negative 0 0.0753. Okay, so uh, this is the rate of change of voltage after two seconds, and we can write this as uh, volts. Okay, so this is the rate of change after uh, two seconds, right? It's uh, voltage per second. Okay, so that's the rate of change. Um, what is the rate of change of current after two seconds? So if we're trying to figure out the rate of change of current, then we basically need to find the derivative of the current function. So the current function here is I of t, which is equal to 4.85 minus 0.01 t squared. If you wanted to find the derivative, I prime of t is basically derivative with respect to t of 4.85 minus the derivative of 0.01t squared, which is 0, right? And you get uh, negative 0.02t, okay? So this is I prime of t. That's the rate of change of current. And if you want to figure it out after 2 seconds, I'm going to plug in 2 for where you see t, okay? So you get I prime of 2, which is negative 0.02 times 2, which is negative 0.04, right? And in this case, it's amperes per second. Okay, so that's some, something that you want to kind of take a look at. Um, and then what is the rate of change of resistance after two seconds? You do the same thing, right? So you find the uh, derivative of the resistance function. Now you can imagine here that the resistance function is a function of time as well as the, um, the current function that we just saw earlier. And if you want to find the rate of change of the resistance function, find r prime of t which is basically the derivative with respect to t, 15 plus derivative of 11t, and you get 0 here, which is 11, okay? So this is 11 ohms per second. So it's important to kind of understand uh, what each of these means. Um, also just understand kind of the units beside that. So uh, this is a great example of um, physics, right, because this is basically the electricity unit, so I uh, hopefully gave you another uh, scope of the application of derivatives and its properties.